Uh, good afternoon, Charlie. Yeah, good afternoon, Kevin. Uh, now, uh, before we get to your views on you, Les, tell us about the very generous offer that you've decided to make uh, in terms of a very special set of people who might not be able to afford this £12.50 a day charge. Tell us all about okay. that. Uh, I'm prepared to pay for all NHS nurses um, that have to pay this additional charge to get into work uh, for the rest of September until we can dismiss this idea, till we get the government to wake up and tell this Robin so-and-so calm that he cannot do this to working-class people who cannot afford even to get to work, drive to work. Uh, you know, they're, they're getting paid pittance. So uh, my offer is I will pay for every NHS um, nurse that, that gets hit by the new sound. I think this um, this um, sound was in, I think, about five boroughs. Yeah. They've now decided to put it into 33 boroughs all across Greater London. Yeah. And nurses will not be able to get into work. They will not be able to afford the additional cost. There'll be patients that cannot get to, to, to um, appointments, cancer patients, um, or many other uh, appointments. They can barely afford to get into London now. So I'm prepared to help every NHS nurse out with the cost of it, not the fine, but the actual cost. All they have to do is send me the receipt that they've gone, they've done it, if it's five days, one month, and I and I and I will pay for it. Well, that's a, a very generous offer, and uh, here's to you for that. I take my hat off to you, Charlie. Uh, what are your views on uh, this ULES expansion scheme generally? I mean, we've been talking. I've just been speaking to a fellow businessman, a scaffolder guy, uh, Noel, who runs his own company, and uh, he has to send this fleet of trucks out every day, and he says. Uh, that every time they go out, it costs every truck is a hundred quid. He's paid yeah. thousands and thousands of pounds a day on this ULES scheme, uh, and uh, like so many businesses, he's been yeah. thrown into catastrophe over this. Not forgetting old people who ha don't have compliant cars who need their little cars to go down to the supermarket once a week, disabled people who need their cars and That's can right. no longer afford it. What are your feelings about the ULES well, expansion? My well, general thoughts are is he's robbing people because he can rob them. And he says it's all about cutting down emissions. Well, he's talking about absolute whatever the word is, <laughs> is what he's talking. Yeah. Um, according to different surveys, it's not cutting it down. It's actually making it worse because of two lanes into one. Yeah. And, you know, the cyclist causing all the problems of traffic jams, making us take twice as long. If he brings it in, which I hope he don't, he needs to bring it in for cyclists also because they are causing the problem with emissions by slowing down the traffic, not allowing us to drive around certain turnings and roads. And we're sitting there in traffic jams taking four times as long, which means four times the amount of emission. So if he's going to bring it in, bring it in for the cyclists. Let's see how happy they are about it because they're the ones also causing the so-called problem. But the problem in the real world is nonsense. What this is about is about making money. Exactly. That's going to bring in £10 million extra a year. That, and, 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 and the rest, Charlie, maybe a billion, uh, maybe as much as 2.5 million quid a day. Uh, you know, he says, oh, well, you know... Sorry, but, 10 million a month. Yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah, quite. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So this isn't about cutting down emission. This is about making money. working class people. Yeah. And, you know, it's time to dump the mayor. Let's not kid anyone. It's time to dump the mayor. Um, evidently, we can't sack him unless we find out what skullduggery he's been up to. I actually think, and I make a statement now, and he can sue me if he wants, when he, when, when he, when he gets chucked out, or when he leaves the job next year, um, because I'll be having the job off him anyhow, that's Good. for sure. Me, me or someone else, or me or someone else that understands things, I actually think he'd get prosecuted for forgery. I think he'd get prosecuted for robbing people. I think he'd get prosecuted for doing illegal sort of things that he's been doing. And, and the cheeky so-and-so has come out with the the... You're laughing, Kevin, because I get a feeling you know who no, I am. No, 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 it's, it's just the way you nearly keep saying words that worry me.
Oh, well, hang on a second, hang on a second. No, uh, anyhow, just... Kevin, let me tell you this, right? Okay. Um, um, the point I'm trying to say is that you cannot do this to working class people. These people are underpaid. They're saving people's lives. They're putting their own life at risk to, to go into work. If, they can't, if they've got an early shift, you know, public transport is crap. It costs a fortune. If they, you know, if they've got to get themselves into work, um, they've got to get themselves safely home. They've got to look after people. I'm with you, Charlie.